Hello, it's David at Beaumont Gibbs Estate Agents. Today I've got this four bedroom terrace house for rent on Shrewsbury Lane in Shooters Hill. The reason why you're looking at me today instead of the house is that because the house is set back from the main road. So I just wanted to show you where the house is in relation to Shrewsbury Lane itself. So I'm just gonna turn around now and start showing you around the main road and then we'll walk down to the house itself. Okay, so this is Shrewsbury Lane, the main part continuing down there that continues into Plum Lane which then goes into Plumstead Common Road. Further down here on the right you've got Shrewsbury Park which is a lovely little park to walk around and in that direction you have Shooters Hill itself and you also have Oxley's Woods to enjoy as well if you're walking around there. So this is the little road as I mentioned before. We're going to walk down here so you've got some residence car parking just at the bottom here. Okay, so there is free parking along Shrewsbury Lane itself, the main part of the road. There's some free parking spaces here. And then we just walk along this pathway. And then we've got some steps that lead down to our house, which is just here. Now, before I go into the house, just let me explain something. The tenants of the previous agents have just moved out on Saturday. It's the first time I've seen the house today. Um, there is some work that needs to be carried out in the property, which I've discussed with the landlord, and the landlord will be getting those repairs done. So when I walk around, I'll point these things out as best I can and rest assured that this work will be carried out. The landlord was a bit disappointed, to say the least, when she saw the condition of the house that has been left in. It's nothing, it's nothing major, but it's you know poor decoratively in, in certain areas. So, I just wanted to explain that before we go around any further. Right, okay, so this is the entrance hall. So you've got a cupboard here, again, that old cupboard, it needs repainting, which is gonna be done. You've got your boiler here, you've got your electric meter, you've got your fuse board, and you've also got your gas meter down there as well. So there's some areas here that obviously need to be done. That's all gonna be repainted and fixed up. This is the through lounge diner. This is gonna be repainted. The flooring, I've got to be 100%, I'm not 100% sure about what's gonna happen yet. It's got wood flooring. It does need some revarnishing in places. It's nothing terrible, but as you can see, it's got a bit bare there. I believe this will be done, but I'm not 100% sure about it. So again, discuss that with us uh, when um, you view the property. Again, there's some areas that need to be repainted. as a, a bit of black mould where the previous tenants haven't opened the windows and ventilated it. That's what causes that. The owner of the property lived there for five odd years and there was never any problems. So unfortunately, it's just the way the previous tenants lived in the property, which has caused some of this uh, damage, shall we say. So good size living room. Nice feature fireplace there. Okay, got some nice Victorian style radiators, which albeit it's not a Victorian house, it is a nice little feature, I think, in, these, in the house. And then you've got these double doors that lead into the kitchen. So it's like a kitchen breakfast room, so you've got room for a sort of a table and chairs here. These doors obviously are not the only entrance to the kitchen, you've also got a folding door at the rear there, so you could put a table and chairs here and just access the kitchen via the doors at the front by the entrance hall. So you've got an integrated oven here, you've got a dishwasher, you've got a washing machine, you've got a gas hob there and you've got an extractor, okay? So you've got quite a few cupboards there. You've got an understairs storage cupboard, which is handy. There is power and light in here as well. And then you've got a door to the rear which leads out to the conservatory. So, good sized conservatory this, all double glazed, laminate wood flooring, 
There are power sockets out here as well, and there is a wall light, which I'll just quickly show you. There you go, and there's your wall light, and there's your power sockets there. So let's go upstairs and start showing you around on the first floor. Now the carpet on the stairs will be changed, so all the stair carpet on the both sets of stairs and the landing is all going to be replaced with new carpet. So let's go into the biggest bedroom on this level. So this is bedroom number two. This bedroom is in pretty good condition, so there's no real work that needs to be done here. It's all in fairly good decorative order, this one. So the carpet is clean. All in good order. The hedges at the front are going to be uh, cut back this afternoon, I've been told, and also in the rear garden there's some work that's going to be carried out there as well. So it's just a, a built-in cupboard there for a bit of storage. Right, bedroom number three. Now this room is going to be completely redecorated. I'm just going to stand in the corner so you've got this like a feature child's wallpaper here great paint on this side, again that's all going to be repainted. All the ceiling can be done. As you can see some areas there, sort of a bit of black mould which is built up again due to lack of ventilation. There's a built-in cupboard here. It has got a light in here as well but the light, there's no light, that's the pool, pool, pool cord should we say but there's no light in here to actually show you that, but that is handy. Okay, so decent sized room. And then you've got the smallest bedroom across the landing here. So this one here, so it's a single bed bedroom. Got a recessed area there as well, which is handy for putting things in. And you've also got uh, a built-in sort of wardrobe storage room as well, okay? And then you have your bathroom here. So a nice white bathroom suite. We're going to get a new panel for the bath. And the mastiquing is going to be regrouted, so it's nothing major as you can see but just a little bit of a, where it's going a bit mouldy, that's going to be redone. Okay, so, and then we've got the stairs here that go up to the second floor. So you've got a Velux window at the front there, again, that's all going to be clean, the tenants didn't clean that, so, uh, it looks a bit dirty at the moment, but that will be done. It's, you've got your own fuse board for this level here. Plenty of sockets, as you can see up there. So this, they use that probably as a little uh, little office area, I guess, at some point in time in the past. And you've also got a bit of the eave storage there as well. And then you've got the master bedroom, which is a really nice size. I'll just stand back at this angle. You've got this freestanding wardrobe, which is a nice wardrobe. That's staying with the property. Again, a bit of eaves storage there in that little cupboard. And we've got two further built-in cupboards here. So there's like a shelf there and there's also like a hanging rail. Hasn't been painted inside, it's just bare plaster, but it's all, all clean and tidy. Again, another storage area here as well, which is very handy. And then you've got these French doors overlooking the Juliet balcony with this absolutely fantastic view of London. So I'll just zoom in so you can see, I'd say that is what you see with the naked eye. That is pretty much what you see with the naked eye. So you've got absolutely stunning views up here. Never get bored of looking out the window on this. Okay. And that's your view of the gardens below. Okay. And then we have a door to the ensuite shower. 
So, nice on street this, all very modern. All very clean and tidy in here. So, nice vanity sink unit there. Nice lit wall mirror. And you've got a nice WC there. So, lovely polished tiled flooring as well. You've got your little chrome tower radiator just behind it. So really nice, this. Right, okay, so that's take you out to the garden now. Okay, so there, this is the rear garden. It's 40 foot long. Again, this is gonna be tidied up as I mentioned earlier in the video. So all the bushes and so forth will be tidied up and the garden just tidied up in general. You've got a timber shed just there. And you have got some rear access here as well. Um, it was once upon time, I guess, used for a, a car. Um, there's like these double gates here, just to show you. So you've got the rear access road running there. So if you needed to bring anything through the garden rather than the house, you can do so. And that pretty much concludes this tour today. So I hope you've enjoyed walking around the house with us. If you've got any questions, please call us on 0208 319 76 00. Once again, it's Beaumont Gibbs Estate Agents. Thanks for watching.